As they say, it takes two to tango. What do you believe makes a relationship healthy? How do you tell when a relationship begins to turn toxic? Relationships should be nurturing and balanced. To make a relationship work, both parties should be willing to do their best. Even if your best means having to make compromises, it's also just as important to know when not to make compromises. If you have certain standards, you have them for a reason. Here are eight relationship behaviors you should never accept. Number one, a lack of trust. Do they become extremely jealous at the slightest matter? Are they constantly comparing themselves to your social circle? Nobody's perfect. But if this happens all the time, it can be quite draining on you. If they don't ever trust you, you have to constantly reassure your partner about your loyalty. If they breach your own privacy without your consent, like constantly going through your phone or checking all your private text messages, that's really unfair to you. And it's not okay, period. Number two, extreme clinginess. Do they always ask where you're going? Do you need to report where you are or what you're doing every hour or so? There's nothing wrong with communicating your whereabouts by any means, but it can become super tiresome if you're always being asked on a repetitive loop. It's important to have your own time away from your partner, even when things are going well. If both parties don't have their own space in the relationship, that's not healthy. One of you, if not both, may feel a loss of identity. Even if you live together, your partner still needs to respect your space and vice versa. So far, do any of these behaviors sound familiar to you? If so, what do you plan to do next? Comment below. We know that being in a relationship like this can be tormenting, which is why we're more determined than ever to help people avoid toxic relationships and build healthier ones. If you support our cause, liking this video and subscribing to Psych2Go would help us a lot. So thank you and keep watching because we have six more important behaviors you should look out for. Number three, avoiding responsibilities. Are they unwilling to lend a hand with chores? Do they hesitate to plan a future with you? Relationships are all about give and take. If you're working all the time and they're not, that can be a problem. They expect you to do everything for them without being thoughtful of your needs. They don't own up to their mistakes and they get defensive pretty quickly. In times of crisis, they don't show you any support or even offer a shoulder to cry on. They distance themselves to avoid you and the situation. Number four, gaslighting. Are you unsure if they're manipulating you? Gaslighting is to manipulate a person by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. They make you feel shame and guilt over how you supposedly acted, particularly when no one else does. Gaslighting is very subtle and can easily warp a person's sense of self. They make you question your own judgment. The more you hear hurtful things about yourself, especially coming from someone you love, the more you begin to believe them. It's one of the worst and most toxic things someone can do. Number five, constant lying. Does your partner lie? Do you often find them in the middle of a lie? Honesty is key in any relationship, the stepping stone to trust. When your partner is a compulsive liar, they may lie so often that they can't even keep their story straight anymore. That's totally unfair to you. It's not a healthy environment for you to be in. Sometimes people stay in unhealthy relationships because they believe that they can and will get better. While sometimes that can be true, most of the time though, if you're dating someone who lies a lot, chances are they always will. Number six, super flakiness. Are they always running late for your movie dates? Do they apologize to you or just brush it off like it's no big deal? To be fair, people can sometimes be late. It does happen. Events can transpire and that's totally out of your control. But it is also necessary to make time for those that they care about. This includes keeping you in the loop. If your partner has to cancel appearing at an event that you were both going to, they should let you know as soon as possible. Or are you waiting in agony for two or three hours with no reply? It's normal for people to not respond right away, but they should get back to you within a respectable amount of time. Number seven, false accusations. Disagreements and the occasional fight in a relationship can be healthy, but if they're in the habit of accusing you of things that you can never even imagine, this can be a major red flag. Accusations such as questioning your loyalty all the time can be utterly soul destroying. Oftentimes, those who are guilty of something they know is wrong will project it onto someone else. It's always a good idea to guard against such behavior. The most important thing to remember is that you need to stay true to yourself, even if they try gaslighting you into believing their version of the truth.
And number eight, cheating. If you're ever cheated on, it's not your fault. Remember that. If your partner cheats on you, that's about them, not you. Yes, it's hard to leave someone when you love them so dearly, no matter their flaws. But once you've been cheated on, it takes a toll on your mental health. Your self-worth can tank. Victims of cheating can be made to feel worthless. You may ask yourself why you weren't ever good enough or what you did to deserve it. It's what we do with those thoughts that matters. You are not your thoughts, but you are your actions. Once a liar, always a liar. Once a cheater, always a cheater. If you feel safe and comfortable with your partner, it's important to be open and communicate your thoughts and feelings. Trust and honesty go a long way. The right person makes you laugh and challenges you in a healthy way, of course. If you're not in a happy, healthy relationship, you can always reach out for help. Those who love you care about you. They just want what's best. You should want the best for yourself too. Have you experienced any of these points mentioned? Are you only just recognizing some of the problems? Feel free to leave a comment with your experience, feedback, or suggestions.